So I'm here with His Excellency, Dr. Sir Joseph John. Yeah, you're so good to see you. It's been a while. Glad you're here. So can you tell me a little bit about your medical background and what you do in Antigua? Uh, you want the abbreviated version? No, I'm kidding. Uh, I, um, I trained at uh, Columbia Medical School in New York. And uh, I went to medical school at Columbia Medical School in New York. Trained at Albert Einstein, also in New York. Did laparoscopic surgery there. Returned back to Antigua in 1994, I'm ashamed to say. It sounds so long ago. Back then, you know, things were quite different and uh, was very much involved in taking over the old hospital, bringing that up to speed with, with the newer techniques, etc. And was also instrumental in building the Mount St. John's Medical Center. We also at that time brought the uh, American Medical School, the Medical University of Antigua, the medical school to Antigua. That was in the early 2000s. And um, so that's kind of what has been going on in Antigua, you know, a lot of movement in, on the, in the medical arena. So what do you do in your medical practice now? Well, after about 12 years in public service, in the public medical field, I uh, started Medical Surgical Associates, which is a private uh, medical facility. And it's a, a full spectrum um, uh, surgical and medical clinic. Uh, which provides high-end care, uh, boutique-type medical care to Antiguans and the regions, and of course, expatriates. So what's happened in the last 30 years in the medical field in Antigua? Oh, an amazing amount. We've, we've uh, it's been revolutionary in terms of the changes from where we came from back in the early 90s to where we are now, both in the private sector as well as the public se sector. Uh, medical care is very, very different now there is a, a huge push uh, towards medical tourism also. And so that has kind of brought the private medical uh, care up to a certain standard. You know, obviously we know what you offer, but could you tell um, everyone what you offer for all your 24 hour service, your emergency services here? Well, we pride ourselves on that in Antigua and being able to respond, you know, emergently right away in a boutique bespoke type of manner. Um, we have a lot of patients from the UK who, uh, you know, you have the National Health Service over there. Sometimes it takes weeks, months to get done what we can get here done in a matter of hours. So someone calls us with a problem, they're pretty much worked up with all the tests needed, um, consultations and so forth, well within a 12, 24 hour period, uh, stuff that would take, you know, maybe weeks in other countries to shuffle from one uh, console to another and wait for the appointments and so forth and so forth. So yes, that's a big advantage here. You can get really immediate and urgent attention very quickly. Uh, so you say you can do any uh, surgery here in Antigua? Oh yes, yes. Uh, that's not an issue at all. Um, don't want folks to be thinking they're going to come down here to Antigua and if there's something uh, that goes wrong, we can't take care of it, of course. We do, as a matter of fact, uh, I have a private surgical facility and I'm actually building a new hospital right now at this point as, as we speak. Um, a 25 bed, a 20 bed hospital actually, uh, ultra private with um, pretty, pretty serious amenities, you know, full imaging, labs, you know, dialysis, three operating room suites, interventional radiology. So, I mean, we have, we have, enormous capability on the island and all in terms of our medical surgical capabilities. Uh, so you mentioned the uh, stem cell um, part of your business. What, um, can you tell me a bit about that? Um, what, who does it benefit? Well, uh, I'm, I'm sure by now most people have heard of stem cells and it is fast becoming uh, uh, a, an area of research that is showing great promise and uh, already there are very much um, established applications for stem cells that have really unbelievable uh, results. Um, but there's a myriad of areas that stem cells uh, affect and cover. Um, so for instance, folks with joint issues, musculoskeletal issues have been shown to benefit tremendously from stem cells. Neurological conditions traditionally not treated well with conventional medicine 
uh, my um, uh, Parkinson's, um, ALS, multiple sclerosis, even um, autism, believe it or not. Tremendous, tremendous results using stem cells with these patients, much better than what you see in conventional medicine. On top of that, though, there's the anti-aging and rejuvenation properties, which I think is what everybody is Absolutely. like <laughs> rushing to for stem cells. Again, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, data to show that it, that it seriously affects uh, aging from an anti-aging standpoint. Um, and repair of the body's processes. Uh, uh, if you have issues that need repairing, stem cells are great for that. So obviously you uh, were instrumental in building Mount St. John Hospital. Uh, you bought the medical school here. Um, and obviously you're a pioneer in laparoscopic surgery. And that's why they've just knighted you. Uh, so how did that feel? It was a great feeling actually, you know. Um, we, one doesn't go into their career thinking that that's going to happen and we certainly don't, I certainly didn't do these things expecting that to be recognized but when the recognition did come it was a both a humbling experience and, and one you know that filled me with pride absolutely. So thank you very much for chatting with us it's been excellent and uh, congratulations again on your recent knighthood. Thank you, thank you very much.